Hi, you're watching Patadendron, and in today's video, I'm touring one of the most beautiful collections of Hoya and succulents, cacti, all plants, really. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Patrick and I'm a houseplant enthusiast. And I love tropical houseplants. Look at these Hoyas. Cacti and succulents and carnivorous plants. So if you wanna see how I slowly build the botanical garden of my dreams, kind of like this one that we're at today. Um, oh, okay, this cactus keeps pulling my hair <laughs> then I suggest you consider hitting subscribe in today's video I'm just so lucky and I guess I guess we all are because we're gonna see such a cool collection of cacti and succulents and Hoyas too so um let's check it out and get to the plants This place is so amazing. Just look at how happy this Hoya is. Can I see that? These are all outside. So many peduncles. All of a sudden, <laughs> I feel really excited about my outside Hoyas. Beautiful Hoya pubicalyx. Look at all these orchids lining the fence with all of the Schlumbergeras up top. Hoya carnosa compacta, so long. Look. All right, <laughs> it smells like vanilla, kind of chocolatey, but also vanilla. That's so cool. <laughs> I've just um, never seen so many is like this, just like long and trailing. Can't wait for mine to grow. <laughs> Although, I have a lot of growing to do. This looks like a variegated compact, or carnosa. The, it looks like it could be a carnosa crimson princess. Just look at that new growth. It's like so red, it's so blushing and sun stressed. Yes. I see the uh, I see the princess in there. <laughs> this one's about to bloom too.
Oh, look. I just found one. Oh, it's like partially open. That is so cool. And over here are a couple of Parnosa Crimson Queens. Look how beautiful these new leaves are. So many Hoya Blooms. This is such a cool thing to see. Crinkle eight. I keep wanting to go back to this. This is like my favorite leaf, maybe ever. <laughs> it's like my favorite shade of pink. This is so cool because there's so much to look at. And look at that. This looks like a uh, Carnosa. This is so cool. And I'm glad we, we get to see this together. Look, there's more. This Hoya Lakinosa. <gasps> oh, look, it's blooming too. Hoya Lakinosa blooms are so precious. They look like little sugar crystals. Mm, they smell really good too. Another Makinosa. I'm trying to get it to focus on this, these blooms. Oh, oh it smells so good. Kind of reminds me of um, sunscreen in a good way. Oh. I wanted to show you, here it is. Look at that flower, the hornea. Lifesaver plant, that's a cool flower. And they don't smell like um, stapelias. And look at this. It's so variegated that the it's like overexposed. <laughs> but that is a variegated string of pearls. looks like a mixed pot of Hoyas. So cute. So many Hoyas. Look at this. That is cool. A half moon Aeonium. <laughs> That's amazing. how long and happy these are. It's hard to imagine this place being empty about a year and a half ago, Mimi said. Yeah. 
Her friend has a beautiful home and a lot of these are, you guessed it, <laughs> from Mimi herself. But let's go through this awesome collection. Oh, actually, looks familiar. is amazing oh wow look at that lush tropical goodness back there <laughs> okay back to the desert this amazing desert look at how tall this is this is the Euphorbia. The pottery is so next level too. I just had to come back to admire because <laughs> I totally missed that I was too focused on the plants just check out the pottery inspiration for sure And all of a sudden I feel so bad about the plants that aren't doing well. <laughs> Man. Euphorbia abdelkari. All of a sudden, Feeling the need to go to Mimi's and shop. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Look at that euphoria obesa right there. Ooh, what is that? That is so cool. This collection is next level. And, oh, look at this. It's a beautiful Kiko. This um, astrophytum looks like a Anzuka cluster. So my wish list just maybe double, triple, I don't know. <laughs> Look at this cluster of Astrophytum Asterius. that beautiful areocarpus. So you could tell that this is not taken from habitat because it's so pretty and just, you know, not that the natural grown ones aren't pretty, but it's just like so 
plump and perfect and it doesn't have any scarring. And that's how you can tell. As far as I know, you know, I'm still learning, but doing my best. I've been seeing some, you know, people on Facebook posting their newly acquired astrophytums from eBay. And a lot of them do look like they're taken from Habitat. So um, just know that This is so cool. This Echeveria, oh, it's huge. Here's my hand. <laughs> okay, let's explore some more. Oh, look, more crinkle blooms right there. I love these, the Forbia Monodinium Ricciae Variegata. So cool. Everything in her garden is just so pretty and so happy. Whoa, look at these gigantic Hoyas. This is the Hoya Bella. This has to be a 10 or 12 inch planter. And oh, it's got peduncles too. And this gigantic Hoya Carnosa Crimson Queen. Look at that. The blushing queen. She is gorgeous and showing off too. So her Aeschcananthus lipstick plants are outside as well. Mine too. <laughs> There's her um, Black Pagoda lipstick plant. And some fun succulents, like this variegated bear paw. Man. She also grows edibles. Look at all these fruits. Pretty cool, right? Look at those. Cucumbers. Whatever kind of squash this is. I love that her collection kind of 
spans through a lot of different families and genera. Just a really nice, beautiful, I mean, nice is such an understatement. A beautifully well-rounded collection. <laughs> so many blooms. I think I may keep my um, crimson queen and princess outside from now on. Here's a cool pubic calyx. It's not blooming, but it has giant leaves with the splashes on it. Check this out. The abundance of flowers. I mean. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> so good. Oh, and then down here, is a variegated Hoya Kiriai. Cute little Pilea Peperum Uides. There's so much to look at that there's always something new when I go back. <laughs> oh look, it's blooming. Cool. Hopefully mine will bloom soon. The pottery. I just had to come back to admire because I totally missed that. I was too focused on the plants. Let's check out the pottery. Inspiration for sure. And all of a sudden I feel so bad about the plants that aren't doing well. <laughs> Man. This aloe is stunning. I think this is Delta Lights, maybe. 
but it looks so much more impressive when it's huge and clustered like that. And this is really cool. Is this an Opicularia decarii? Ooh. I don't know if I, I don't know if that, I said that right. And a little ficus. I don't know if that's the, the ficus petiolaris or the Sonoran rock fig. Wait, is that the same? I don't know. This is so cool. <laughs> oh look, there's there's a squash. Is that a squash? Not sure. Just look at this banda orchid. It's so fascinating how different the Vanda orchids are from each other. And <laughs> take a moment to admire this beauty again. This is just so gigantic. You have no idea from how thick these trunks are that it's gonna be an obovada. <laughs> wow, so nice. How's it smell, Mimi? Vanilla. Vanilla? Look at this other, it's another huge Hoya Bella. This is giant. Beautiful lotus flower. So peaceful. This is Mimi. My favorite. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. So all these plants came from her, which is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Makes me want to go shopping. <laughs> okay, so if you guys can't see, They're, they look like little sugar crystals. Oh, there it is. It smells so good. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you to Mimi and Ivy for such hospitality. Um, you know, I was invited to come check this private collection out very last minute and um, I'm so glad that I came and it was such a cool experience seeing all of these plants. You know, this collection is just next level. It's just so beautiful. And you know, Ivy and her family are so nice and welcoming. Um, they had this delicious lunch splayed out and, um, you know, I got to taste the delicious food. It was so good. <laughs> 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 
and um, I got to see all of these cool plants and so did you. So yes, I had a lot of fun and I hope you did too. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Please throw me a bone and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to support my channel and see more of my plant videos, which I hope you do, please hit that subscribe button. I can't wait to see you in the next video. I just don't want to miss you too much. So if you could show me some love in the comments and I'll meet you there. Bye.